So how do you sleep at night? I mean, your day job's got you dealing with topics that are so gruesome, so horrific. How do you go home to your family, uh, see your daughter? I mean, how do you, how do you, how do you sleep at night knowing all this and dealing with this every day? Since we're in the spirit of talking about Wilberforce on this podcast, <laughs> we'll just keep going there. Hey, we'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll title this one the Wilberforce <laughs> podcast. I love it. Keep going. He said, if to be feeling alive to the sufferings of my fellow creatures is to be a fanatic, I'm one of the most incurable fanatics ever to be permitted at large. And, uh, and I, I cite that because, um, you know, to be awakened to an injustice like human trafficking can be all consuming. And, and I know that for my wife and I, it, it arrested us and with a, with a burden and that we, you know, we, we labored with in the place of, of intercession and just groaning and weeping. Um, this happened a year after we got married. So the first 12 years, 13 years of our marriage was really like dedicated to this issue. And, um, and it's just now that we're like rebooting a new marriage where we're actually like, let's be a married couple and not just, (laughs) you know, because it's, it is like all consuming and, and it's been such a journey of, of, trying to to walk this out there's no manual for it you know and you're not expecting it and um but uh you know i know in your experience you've been places you've seen things where it just it haunts you and and for a long time it was one of those things where you go you put your head down to go to rest at night and you think how can i even sleep when this is happening to somebody out there. And, um, and so there's definitely times where I've tried to carry this my own strength and been crushed by it. And I think the lesson that we've learned over these years is that his yoke is, is easy, you know, and his burden is light. And so it is one of those things of just, there's such high burnout and, and, and fighting something like this. And it's kind of a, a daily thing of having to, um, you know, release or put this burden back on the Lord and and walk in step with Him and and so um, I mean that's yeah there's a lot there's a lot to say about that but um, I think that uh, for us it's just it's been a journey of of really you know figuring it out and and also seasons too like. There are seasons of birthing. There are seasons, you know, of where where the burden's going to be heavier, and then there are seasons where the Lord's like, okay, now step back from the front lines, come back to the general's tent, and you know, re- rest, refresh, strategize, and then go back out again. And so, um, I think, yeah, just learning to abide and and not run too far ahead or or get too far behind, and um, but walk, trying to walk in step with with the Lord as we as we confront this day by day.